What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Red Beard's Garage. Uh, look at that guy. I know what you're gonna say. He needs a haircut. He needs a haircut. <laughs> that boy needs a haircut. Uh, I got one. He has a hair cutter. But uh, we're back on Gravy Bones, and we're gonna be installing the new brake master cylinder today because this little caliper or master cylinder is for a very small single piston caliper, and it doesn't have enough hydraulic pressure to collapse that double piston caliper that you see on screen so what we're going to be doing is switching to this go power sports utv style master cylinder so like we said in the last video this will do front and rear brakes so what we're going to be doing is capping off the front brake areas right now and then on a future video we're going to be adding front disc brakes with a line lock so we can do burnouts so that's going to be pretty sick so i got to cut a flange that basically bolts up to this where it can be welded on and this is going to set just like this in the chassis and the push rod will run under this which i've already got it made i would go power sports 38 tie rod i just tapered it down at the end if you can see that come on focus tapered it down at the end there it will go under this and grab onto this mechanism and be bolted so it'll work just like that i need to grease this so i'm gonna get that piece of metal cut we can get it mounted and then see if our brakes finally work like they should it's crazy how it's cold it's wild
All right, so we got that uh, master cylinder all installed. Like I said, I used a Go Power Sports uh, tie rod. They work really good because they're 3 8 thick and uh, super strong. So you won't get, you know, under hard braking, you're never going to get that bar flexing. Now, one thing I need to do very soon is when we was at Cars and Cameras Race, you can see this bracketry is bent. From where I literally had no brakes and I was shoving the pedal as hard as I could forward, it bent that because we only used like 3 16 So what I'm going to eventually do is cut this bracket off and move it closer so it's not such a wide, you know, bolt because it's just a 3 8 bolt that all this is pivoting on. And we're going to put a piece of 3 8 steel to beef up everything so we can hard brake on this if we need to. With this master cylinder, honestly, we shouldn't have to really cram on the brakes. It's just going to work really well the way it is. Uh, and we did, so this is a triple, you know, for two front brakes and one rear. So you can see we put 10 by 125 bolts. We had to cut them really short and then put some copper washers on there just to block those ports off until we get our front brake set up on here. And uh, by the way, let me know if you like the camberedness of the front end. I kind of do, but at the same time, I kind of don't. I mean, she's cambered out like a 95 Civic on Nopi Nationals Day. Uh, but I don't know if I like it. We'll see how it handles. But would you guys change it? Would you guys leave it? What would you do? Let your boy know. Now that we have the uh, ooh, beard looks all janky today. Uh, now that we have the whole brake set up fixed, we can bleed them out, make sure we get everything bled. And how we bleed our brakes is we hook up a syringe to the bleeder nipple and we back purge it. You can do that also with a uh, vacuum bleeder, but we don't have a vacuum bleeder. It's one of those things I've said I'm gonna buy for 75 years and I never have. But you gotta make sure to purge all the lines. So every connection you wanna bleed first before bleeding the actual bleeder. That's what I found works the best on these go-karts. Uh, so we can get it bled out and this part of the upgrade is done So the next thing we need to do is the aluminum spooler and the seat sliders on this setup And we also have a hydraulic e-brake uh, But we're gonna wait until we in install the front brakes because that'd be kind of useless because we already have our pedal is basically our rear brake So and a hydraulic e-brake wouldn't be doing really anything uh, so yeah, let me know what you think about this build guys. This is quick and easy video to show you guys how quick it is to install one of these uh, brake master cylinders on a yard cart style. Any of these master cylinders are about the same way. You can just bolt them right up like that, make a little flange for them. Uh, but all these parts are linked down below everything we've used on this cart. So make sure to support your boy by using those links, tell them Go Power Sports that Redbeard sent you. All that helps us to continue to make these videos for your viewing pleasure. So make sure to stay tuned. We've got more videos coming out on this hog and we're going to ride it hopefully on the next video. So we'll see what these tires, the upgrade they did. We'll hopefully be able to finally lock up the rear brakes because that's been super aggravating. Uh, it's not really confidence inspiring when you can't super fastly slow down you know when it slows down super slow so thank you guys so much for watching we love you and god bless